Hi guys, I'm Blaze Berry, and today I want to show you how to make a very special probiotic beverage. As you may or may have not seen my video that I made last year about making milk kefir, which was a pretty simple process. My video was kind of lengthy, but it was fun and animated. But today we're going to make it short and simple. Uh, as you can see, I'm still making the milk kefir because I swear by it. I drink it every day. My family loves it. But water kefir is a totally different element. It's pretty much the same thing except it's different ingredients and this also has less strains of beneficial bacteria than the actual milk keeper. So let's get started. You definitely want to make sure that your counter and everything around it is disinfected. I went ahead and did that before the video. And also one of the ingredients that I need are in my freezer. What you're going to need is um, pure filtered unchlorinated water, which I use from my Berkey Light water filtration system. It's probably the most pure water that you can get. It's pretty expensive, but um, it's so powerful that it'll take the color out of food coloring and just strain it into actual water. So I swear by that. Or you can use bottled water, or if you do not prefer to use bottled water, you can actually boil um, faucet water in the sink and let it cool off just to kill off the chlorine and just let it oxygenate and it becomes pure. So, now that we have that established, I'm gonna show you what these grains look like. They're much different than the milk kefir grains that actually look like cauliflower. These are actually just little sugar crystals, and they're clear, and they're kind of firm in texture, but a little squishy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and strain these grains out. I have my plastic strainer. And I've got my rice spoon. And then I'm just going to simply take it and pour it. Now, what I'm pouring into this container is water kefir that has been fermenting for the last 48 hours. And if you want to take a look at this, it's probably a better view of what the grains actually look like. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put these grains back into the jar that I'm gonna use to ferment, again, for another 24 to 48 hours. And as you probably notice, this is a prego jar or a spaghetti sauce jar. A lot of people are asking where can they find mason jars? Because sometimes at Walmart and Winn-Dixie, they're a little bit more pricey. Um, at my local Dollar Tree store, they have these bigger versions. Actually, well, this is a moonshine jar, but they look like this. They're, of course, the mason jars with the lids on them. And um, this is just a coffee filter. But you can get these jars at the Dollar Tree if yours carry them for a dollar, obviously. Or just spaghetti, Alfredo sauce, uh, Tostitos jars, pickle jars, any kind of jars will do. So don't, don't go all out trying to find a, um, a mason jar. So this is what your water keeper looks like, kind of like a brownish, only because of the sugar. You can actually add um, molasses and then salt crystals for more nutrients for the keeper to feed on, and of course you benefit from it as well. You can drink it right away. What I prefer doing is letting this sit, like I'll put it in a jar, and I'll let it sit for another 24 to 48 hours because I like mine sparkling. So you just take a clean jar, you don't seal the lid all the way, but you just set it in a cool, dark area for another 24 to 48 hours, and it becomes more of like a sparkly taste. Okay, so what I have now, we're basically done. Um, we're just going to add the one cup of pure filtered water with my organic pure sugar cane crystals. <laughs> make sure that it's dissolved, and make sure that your water is cool or kind of room temperature, and then just go ahead and pour that on top of your grains. And just mix it in a little bit and I'm just gonna add a little bit more water because I thought I measured enough but I didn't so I'm gonna add some more pure filtered water and we just want to give it about an inch or two to breathe I'm not closing the lid completely but I'm gonna let a little bit of air for it to breathe and for it to ferment so I hope that you found this tutorial much easier than my milk keeper video and if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know Ta -ta 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 -ta.